everyone and welcome back to my channel Jackie's Crafty Time. It has been a while. I know. I know. Um, I have just been, I opened up my hours at work. So I have been busy working. Uh, my son finished hockey. Now we're working on grade eight graduation with him. It, a lot has been going on. I'm hoping now that stuff is starting to slow down. My work's getting a little bit more regular. I can get back to recording. Is that, what is that doing that? I think it's because my window's open. If the lighting is weird, I'm actually filming this during the day for once instead of when my daughter is sleeping. Um, so the window is open and I have natural light coming in. Deep breath, Jackie. Okay, so what am I working on? since it's been forever and I think I've probably changed canvases maybe one, two or three times since I recorded last. Um, I am working on uh, Moon uh, from Diamond Art Club by the artist Chrissa Bug and I'm, I am loving it. I'm so excited to get into this, all of this color here. I'm going to be outlining the moon in um, this AB5200 Glow in the Darks, which I'm super excited, and she will be going right up on my wall as soon as she's done. Um, I wanted to put her over by the bed, but I don't know if I want to put her like right here, right in front of me, because I would love to just like see her and stare at her, because it's she's going to be gorgeous. And she's pretty big too. She's a uh, 70 by 92 centimeter. So we're going to get started on that, and then I'll let you... I'll let you, I'll fill you in on what I have been going on, some of my stuff going on and stories. Um, so this is a cover minder. I've done several unboxings and said I was going to show what this does and I keep forgetting. So this is what it does. You have a magnet attached and a magnet here that attaches there. So you're going to take this magnet, we're going to put it under our canvas here and then attach. Now see how the flower will stay? So I'm going to drag it over, drag it over, and then it's going to hold back this paper, or paper, this plastic for me. So I am using my new tray from uh, Butterfly Resin. Is it Butterfly? I have it right here, actually. Butterfly Resin Gems from Etsy. Um, Alyssa, the store owner, is really kind, really sweet lady. So I am planning on ordering one in every color of the rainbow if I can because I'm obsessed with this tray right now. My pen, <coughs> excuse me, my pen is from uh, Diamond Pens and it is just a blue, it glows in the dark. I needed to switch to a slimmer one because I was using one of my thicker ones and I needed a change up. And the cover minder is from uh, Sensible by Design. Oh my god, I blanked on it. <laughs> Sensible by Design from Amy. Now you may think, hey, that's a rose. That's the one that comes with Diamond Art Club. No, I will show you. Do I have any more roses from Amy? No. Okay, I'm just going to pick this one. So this is from Amy. This is the size you get with Diamond Art Club. Because I got these ones in Diamond Art Club, I ordered this one from Amy. Specifically the red rose for tuxedo mask because I like a theme. Alright, let's get into it. What am I even working on? The percent sign. Okay, let me see if I can move this down just a smidge because I'm going to try and work over here and come down. Also, my placing is not perfect. I am fine with that. I've come to terms with that. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I also have, uh, I'm using bunny burps in my, um, my single placer. Right now I have blue wax in my multi placer. So, let's get into it. And this is my other wax I've been using. It's the Sailor Moon bow tie. Yes, I do like a theme. 
And if you're wondering, oh, bunny doesn't make sense. Well, actually, Usagi means rabbit, which can go back to bunny. I'm going to grab a drink and then we're going to go. Okay. I don't even know where or what I talked about last, um, but we're just going to go with what we've been doing. So Addison, my toddler, um, the crazy one, we have started going to school. We call it school, but I don't leave her there. It's a program in Ontario, which I am from Ontario. It's called Early On. Um, when my son was little, when Alex was little, it was called Ontario Early Years. Uh, but they just changed the name to Early On, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I wasn't planning on having any more kids, and then we got a surprise. So, we... Uh, have been going there to try and get her uh, used to little kids, used to listening, used to, you know, being in a setting where there's going to be more rules than at home. Um, so far, it's not working. It's, it, she's excited to go there. But, like to um for her to to listen to the rules is what i'm trying to say not excited she much prefers to do whatever she wants when it's time for her to do whatever she wants so whenever they want like the kids to stop like what they're doing that was weird oops um, again, I'm not concerned about my placement because when I turn the light pad off, I can't see any of these little imperfections. So it's not worth my time going over them. Uh, so when they want the kids to like pay attention and like they're going to move on to snack or something, they turn the lights off. And then they go, when the lights go, well, put your hands on your head, stop, look, and listen. Now Addison will stop, she'll look, and then she will flat out tell the teacher, no. <laughs> And I was like, honey, like, we got to, you know, time to clean up. Like, that's the rules and that's what we got to do. And I know it's going to take a while before Addison gets in the routine of it. I realize that. Um, there has been a few days where I think the teacher has seen that I'm at my limit with her. And, like, she'll come and tell me, like, you know, she's doing really good today. She's, you're doing okay. Like, you got this. And because, honestly, it's a lot. Some days chasing her around the classroom is a lot. Like at circle time, at the end of the day, for the last like 20 minutes, they do a circle time and all the kids are supposed to sit on the mat and they do a song, they'll read a book, they might play a little game. Um, Addison does not like circle time. She doesn't want to do it. I have thought about leaving school like say 10 minutes before circle time just to you know I was talking to my husband about it I was like maybe I should just start leaving but then I'm like you know what if I leave then she knows that she's gonna get out of it right so I want her to realize that no like we we have to do circle time like you can't just play because you want to play right so I want her to get used to the routine and know that there are going to be rules because not this September coming up, but September of 2023, she'll be going into kindergarten. And I want her to um, listen, obviously, but I want her to be ready for it. Like, I don't want to just throw her in kindergarten and be like, okay, you guys handle it. Like, and I know after everything that happened and all the shutdowns, like, especially in Ontario, we shut down quite a bit. Um, and we had multiple shutdowns, like not just one, like we had multiple times that everything shut down and she was kind of like stuck at the house and there was nowhere to go. And I know that has an effect on her. We don't know how much of an effect till she's older, obviously, but I'm just, I am just trying. I don't know if I should just stop that side and work over here. What do you guys think? Because I'm going to have to keep going like this and it's going to bother me. 
I know you guys can't tell me, so I don't even know why I said, what do you guys think? Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll pull it up like that so I can reach it just a little bit more. I almost just dumped my whole tray of drills when I was pulling that towards me. I don't know why I thought that was a great idea. Anyways, so yeah, we've been at school and it's, it's fun. Like it's fun to see her interacting with other kids. Um, it also makes me realize I don't like many other kids other than my kids because there's some moms. So at Ontario early on, you don't leave your kid there. You stay with your kid. It's not like free daycare that you drop them off. It's a free program run by the province, but you stay with your kid. Like you are there, they play, you play with them, and then you go home in like an hour and a half or two hours. And that's fine, but uh, it's just, there's, there's a mom that just kind of lets her one kid just do whatever, right? So I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of, oh, she's just exploring or doing this or doing, it's, I don't mind letting Addison explore and do whatever there, but I'm also not going to let her in the face of other little kids. It's just not, I don't think it's polite, so I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to try and teach my daughter not to do that. Uh, we also had a potty regression where we were potty training, looking like we were getting success, had a few successes on the big potty, and then she just decided, nope, I don't do that. Um, we are now preparing to try that again, round two, potty training. Wish me all the luck. If you have any potty training tips, leave them in the comments for me because... That would be greatly helpful. I am at the end of my rope with it. And I know, I know it will happen. It will just happen one day and just be, that's it. But right now, oh my goodness. I would like that to be the day. Today to be the day would be great. Okay, what else? What else did we do? We ended hockey. Alex finished hockey, my son. Um, and he started baseball. Oh, I feel like I was going to sneeze on you guys. I know I've said it in a video before. I hate baseball. No shame. I'm always going to hate baseball, but I did go. I watched him. He pitch. He's pitching this year. Um, and he's actually good. So that's good. Like I went, I cheered him on and it's you know it's up to him if that's what he wants to do if you're gonna hear some bangs my child the oldest one is just walking in the door now he might walk in here and then be like oh mom you're recording sorry so if you hear that that is him yeah we finished up baseball we or finished up baseball we finished up hockey started baseball um, we're preparing ourselves for getting ready for high school. He's going to be graduating next week. Like, I can't handle all of this. There's too many things. Too many things are happening. Too many milestones are happening all at once. And it's, like, really wearing on me. Maybe that's why I took a break from recording videos. Um, but I just, I just had to, like, take a step the yeah he's gonna be in grade nine next year that's high school so i am not prepared for it at all i did not agree i did not check mark go like no thank you oh my goodness i'm so excited to get into these blues what's number seven does anybody else do that like they look ahead like oh what's this color this little n is really pretty that's this color right here. Anyways, yes, I'm very excited to like work on this and actually get time in. I've been bringing her out to the kitchen table now to work on it with Addison because Addison's been working on her 
uh, keychains again, not keychains, she finished the keychains. What is she working on? Uh, the stickers. Yes, she's doing the alphabet stickers. She's almost done those, so I'm going to either have to look for more keychains for her, or I'm going to have to get some more stickers. Um, yeah, let's rewind back to school, though. So I told you, they sing the Lights Go Out song, right? Right. Well, they had to rebuild that whole room that Addison's in um, to make it up to code for post-COVID or something. They had to have their own bathroom. It was a whole thing. So <laughs> she turns the lights off. Well, right under the light switch is another little switch that is like toddler height, which I don't know why or who put this at toddler height, but it was not a good idea. It is essentially a button that when you push it, it goes, sends a message right to the office, like to, to buzz into the, to the early on room. Addison has pushed it three times, three times she's gotten to this because the lights will go off. I'll usually be sitting down playing with her. Addison will pop her head up, look at the teacher, look at me, wait till the teacher leaves the light switch and runs and flicks the button faster than I can even get up or get near her. So I, the first time it happened, the teacher was like, oh, sorry, like a, a little one hit the button. And then the next time they didn't even call it. The next time they did, I was like, oh man, what if there's like an actual emergency? <laughs> like, I was just hoping maybe Addison put it, pushed it during like lunchtime and, and nobody heard the butt. I don't know. But yeah, it's... I'm just like, please stop hitting that. We are going to the letter H now, I think. Oh, I missed one. Almost put it away. That has been happening lately again, but that's fine. I ran out of washi tape, so like of the one color I was using. So I had to switch to this pink sparkly one. And then I ran out of that one because I use that one mostly on my which one did I do with that one was it the mystery kit I think it was the mystery kit I use this to outline the outside of it so we're doing H now which is this beautiful purple color we're getting closer to the outline of the moon for a while I was pouring these and then putting them back and then I was like wait what, what am I working on what what number what was it like and now I stopped doing that because I was like, I'm going to forget what I was working on. Okay, we're going to open this up. I went to my friend's baby shower today. I am so excited for her to have the baby. Just to like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like at at Addison's school like when we went to school this one mom has a little boy and he's I think she said 11 months he's still like a baby baby like, to me that's still baby um so he kind of like crawled over and like just was looking at me like wanted to come up so I asked the mom I was like is it okay can I pick him up and she's like oh yeah yeah go ahead he's he's fine whatever so I picked him up and Addison looked at me like what what are you doing like would mom that's not yours put it back I definitely didn't I sat there on the floor on the play mat there and just held him and then I was like oh my god like baby like so cute oh my god and then I was like no 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 because then I looked at Addison like destroying a block tower and I was like that's what they get that's what they turn into no 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 we're good we're good I need to get out of the toddler phase, the baby phase, I need to get to the time for me phase, which, and it's, maybe that's why I had such a hard time with my, um, with my, uh, postpartum with Addison, because I feel like we weren't expecting Addison, and then we were, right? So I had the me time. I had a room being set up. Like it was going to be a board game slash 
uh, gaming room. We had a TV back there. We had the board games all up on the shelves. We were going to put the table for my crafts back there. Um, I had it all. And then we had to get rid of everything. And I lost all my spaces. And that, I don't want to sound like, oh, me, poor me, poor me. I still have my space. Like, I made my own space. I had to make a space for me. But I feel like I lost a lot of me time. And that's, you do when you have toddlers. Like, they're, the toddlers are... 100% of the time. This is not sticking anymore. What did I do with the putty? There it is. Oh, I just hit you guys. I'm so sorry. That wasn't nice of me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, also, this tray is not going to focus there. It has little crescent moons that also glow in the dark, and it is also made by Amy at Sensible by Design. It's a wax and putty tray. And I love it. Okay. But as I was saying, you do lose, not yourself, but you lose your me time when you do have a toddler. Just me. I do. Because I am, I am there. I am always wanting to do something with her, wanting to take her out, wanting to teach her something, wanting, you know, so there's not a lot of time left at the end of the day for me to like even like I was talking to my husband I was like we need to like start dating again like we have not gone out just me and him I don't even I couldn't even tell you it has to be at least four years it has to I think the last time we went out was his Christmas party of 2018 Yes, because I had Addison in 2019. I had to do math there, friends. Yeah, so I think that was the last time that just me and him went out. <clears throat> Which is, like, understand, obviously, something, something in 2020 happened, so nobody was going out. But it's just, uh, I'm just checking the time. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I'm aiming for around 30 minutes or so. We are going to get back there, though. Because, like I said, as of not this September, next September, I'm hoping we have a fully potty trained toddler going into kindergarten. I believe they do full days here. I know they used to do half days, but I think they got rid of the half day kindergarten program. And I'm pretty sure it's all full days. I love this painting. I'm so excited to see this one done. So once she's in school, and I told my husband too. I told him, excuse me, I told him the first week that um, our daughter Addison is in school, I'm taking like at least four days off work, if not just the whole week, to just sit and do nothing and watch what I want to watch on TV and to dive and paint. I told him that one day I would probably just sit and dive and paint all day. <laughs> He's like, yeah, really? I was like, yes, yes, really, yes. Not that I don't get to dive and paint with her. Like, she enjoys dive and painting too, but then I'm, I'm dive and painting her stuff or I'm helping her fix one or, you know, it's not the same as just, like, uninterrupted diamond paint fest. I just heard a bang out there. Okay, I don't hear any kids crying or anything, so they're all good. It, nope, I heard a bang again. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Um, what else has been going on? Nothing too much. I've been watching a lot of playoff hockey. Hockey is wrapping up for the season. Um, and playoff hockey is my favorite hockey to watch. Like, you will not find any better hockey than playoff hockey. And I know I'm going to go off on a little rant about how much I love hockey. It's the most amazing sport, and everybody should be watching it. But really, I do love it, and it is amazing. And everybody should be watching it. Um, I've been on Twitch, not streaming. I've been watching people on Twitch. Um, Miss Coffee 
introduced everybody to a artist called uh, his name is Brooklyn Kaiju so if you're on Twitch go check him out he does art on there and it's actually really cool watching people like draw or um, and the thing I like about it is after they're done streaming they do like a raid over to another person that's streaming and then you get to like discover people like that's how I found Elise Jang and Jovan and um, who did we just raid with Miss Coffee um, or she's called Caffeinated Doodler over there oh what was her name Ari Bean Ari Bean Things we just raided her the other day and I, I've just followed her channel now so it's interesting to see all of the um, different thing and there's diamond painters over there I thought about going to Twitch I mean I don't have a huge following on YouTube yet so one day maybe but I have to be more consistent with my videos I think okay oh this is so exciting I might be able to like get this like half of this one done or even all of it done tonight the confetti is crazy in this um in these little sections where it switches colors like I'm going one at a time because that's all there is right now let me switch to this one and see if this is any better. I don't love these steel tips though. I haven't ordered. Oh, that's a lie. I was going to say, I haven't ordered anything new. That's a lie. I did order the Dark Lady uh, because she essentially is the um, Dark Lady from some like Chibusa when she was Dark Dark Lady. That's who the artist kind of portrayed it after. So I ordered that one because it was on sale on Diamond Art Club and I was like, oh, I don't want to miss out. You're going to hear my son talking. So I think he just logged into his computer and he's probably logging into Minecraft or something. <laughs> And what else did I order that was on sale? Um, uh, what was the Mandy Manzano genie? It was also on sale. Wishes or wishing, wishing for you, I think it's called. Sorry, that's my arm, but my trash thing is over there. Oh, I also have a trash minder. I don't have it stuck on my canvas, but this is the trash minder I'm using because it reminds me of one of the Sailor Moon wands and you can see all my little trash drills or drills that fallen out go in the end there i actually haven't found many trash drills most of it is just a drill that got stuck in the tray or popped out and was sitting on my canvas like not popped out of the can popped off the tray so you just put these ones in I think maybe I'll finish this color and then I will let you guys go because I am coming up on 30 minutes and I want to go eat dinner we made chicken wings tonight me and my husband have been craving them and I said, let's just go buy a pack of chicken wings and make it ourselves, Which I'm sure they'll be just fine. But then I thought, okay, does anybody do this? You have like, oh, I just ate chicken wings. But then you've already planned your week of meals and like three of them are chicken things. And then you're like, well, now what do I do? Everybody's going to be tired of chicken. Yes, that's what I'm, my dilemma because I bought chicken when it was on sale, I froze it, so I could cook it um, in a crock pot or just to roast it in the oven. And why do I keep putting it upside down? What's wrong with me right now? Uh, so then I was like, oh, but isn't everybody gonna be like tired of 
chicken wings and or not chicken wings chicken things and my husband's like no no like it'll be fine it'll be fine so we'll see we have father's day coming up we have no big plans i think my husband's gonna go to his dad's for a fish fry i must stay home with addison that way like him and alex can just go and hang out um yeah that's about it i think i'm not I am just getting back into it. I think I filled you guys all in. I will come back with some more stories about my work. Um, next video. Does anybody see any H's before I let you guys go? I do not. Okay. Let's put this away. And I'm going to show you this tray up close. Because it is beautiful and I had drills in it so this is I picked purple so you can see like there's a flower thing in here there's flowers down here absolutely gorgeous so that is it for me guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you please give me a thumbs up like this thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will be sitting here trying to work on this kit some more before my child finds me. Um, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys.